big knife you're using there, buddy. Oh, yeah? You'd like that? I like it through knives like it ain't nobody's business. <laughs> I definitely think recording guilty of sin was a lot easier. You know, we had, you know, we're in an all digital workstation with a computer and, you know, that simplifies things. We wanted to have a huge story that was broken into the chapters of the song, but ultimately it's one big story. And it's a great challenge to write that way, but it seemed like it was something that's really fun and prog music lends itself to very easily. It definitely feels more um, cohesive as an album, uh, not taking anything away from the first album, Human Nation, um, but I think when we went in to write Guilty Sin, uh, you know, we knew that we were telling a story, and, you know, the way the songs kind of ended up intertwining with each other, it just, it felt more natural, it felt a little bit more organic. Before Guilty of Sin, we kind of all had the, the, the idea of whoever wrote the lyrics for the song would usually end up be, being the person who sang the song. We decided that vocally it needed to be one main voice singing through the album, and as we discussed it, um, it, it came down to me doing it. I hate it for the guy because, I mean, he's busy enough behind the drum set just playing his drum parts and then adding songs and then having to sing my lyrics. It was, it was a huge challenge and I was really, really excited and, and really happy that I was able to grow a lot as a vocalist. It's, it's funny because like there's certain little things about Kevin and Scott when you listen to their playing, there's like, that's kind of cool. But they're two totally, like two different drummers. He, um, I thought he did a fantastic job with pictures. You know, because that's a different song in the album. You know, it's kind of sitting there in the middle. Scott's been a long time friend of mine and we kind of came up with the music scene together. So this was a really cool opportunity to have him come in and play on the album um, because I'm a big fan of his drumming and also he is Kevin's older brother. I purposefully didn't go to the sessions where he recorded the drums because I didn't want to interfere with his natural mode of thinking, his natural way of playing, and I wanted to let him translate himself into the drum part. Lots of little things, you know, little ghost notes, and you know, just, uh, I mean, it just, it just fits. She played piano beautifully, and it just added such depth and dimension to those songs where, although I play keyboard parts and, I, and I've written some piano parts, hers just has just this natural, lofty but sad, feel to it that just adds just a, a lot of breath to the music. I know when we first sat down to start to hash out her parts for it, you know, we're playing along and she's she's listening to the music and you know, you know, she's just piecing her parts together like just like that. It's like wow, that that sounds really good, you know, although in my mind I didn't hear all the keyboard parts, how she played it, but um, I think she did a, a fantastic job with the keyboard parts. We had so much more to say this week, so we decided to break it into two episodes. So tune in for part two coming in just a couple of weeks, where we're going to break down more of the musicality of it and our performances and players. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for checking out the channel, for checking out the album, for supporting us. Please spread the word, and we'll see you in two weeks. Video's over. Subscribe, 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 subscribe now. <laughs>